This sequence explains the method for installing small hydraulic bracing frames in conjunction with pre-driven sheeting using an excavator-mounted vibratory hammer. To start, separate a single trench sheet from the stockpile and lift it into place using a quick-release shackle or other appropriate chain attachment. Whilst supporting the trench sheet vertically, remove the quick-release shackle. Position and clamp the excavator-mounted vibrating hammer on the sheet and commence driving. Continue to drive the sheet to full depth using the EMV. Repeat this action for the remaining trench sheets. Edge protection should be connected to the trench sheets in the areas that don't need access with the excavator. The frames can now be built up on a level surface. A pin and R-clip is used to join each corner. If space permits, repeat until you've assembled the number of frames required for the excavation. Excavate to the underside of the desired frame position. Note, the spoil should be stockpiled far enough away from the excavation so as not to cause a surcharge. Attach a certified foreleg lifting sling to the lifting points and lower the frame into the excavation. The legs are expanded hydraulically by using a motorized shoring pump. Attach the two hoses to the inlet and outlet ports and use a box spanner to open the hydraulic lock-off valve on the legs. With the pump running, move the flow lever to the ram-out position to pump out the legs. The pressure will expand the legs against the sheets. Restraining chains are used to secure the frame to the trench sheets in each corner. Once complete, close the lock-off valve on the hydraulic unit, taking care not to over-tighten. Depressure the hoses and remove them from the legs. Continue to excavate to the underside of the next frame position, taking care not to strike the frame already installed. Install the second and any subsequent frames in a similar manner. Note that the restraining chains are connected to the underside of the upper frame or frames. Once the final frame is installed, continue to dig to formation level. It is good practice to blind the base with at least 50 mm of concrete as soon as possible. Note that the edge protection must be replaced as soon as possible. Permanent works can now be constructed within the safety-supported excavation. The lower frames are removed as the permanent works and backfilling progresses or after a structural concrete slab has been cast and the desired strength has been achieved. To remove the frame, each leg should be depressurized in turn. This is done by reconnecting the pump hoses and opening the lock-off valve. Once depressurized, the legs are retracted by operating the pump as before. Once this is complete, backfill to the underside of the next frame with compacted material. Repeat the operation until the upper frame is removed. Backfill until ground level is achieved. Finally, Remove the edge protection and withdraw the sheet piles using appropriate equipment such as an EMV.